Hey guys, and welcome back to Say Mojo Homestead. Uh, today I'm going to head to the garden and catch up on some produce. We haven't been the greatest this past week about keeping up with everything, picking it, all of that stuff. Um, and also our garden is kind of at the tail end of the growing season. So a lot of our produce has slowed down. So we've kind of got out, gotten out of the habit of coming out, you know, daily or every other day just to check on stuff. But our peppers have uh, definitely continued and we've got some that are starting to mature. Which peppers, you don't really want to go to maturity. Um, you pick them before they get to that point because like most vegetables and fruits, once they hit that point, it sends a message to the plant, okay, we have successfully reproduced and we are done. I think that we're not too late though. I think we can still pick these and the plants uh, will continue to produce. So we will find out. All right, so like I said, we let our pepper crop get a little ahead of us. So I'm starting today with these cayenne peppers. These things, I wish I remembered which specific variety of cayenne that we got because this year they have been amazing and they're super long. Check that thing out. Uh, but as you can see behind me, like it looks like a Christmas bush. That's what I told my wife this morning um, because of all the red in it. We have definitely got lots that need to be picked. A lot of times people will wear gloves to pick these. Um, I will probably regret not wearing gloves. Um, the reason is because when you're picking hot peppers, the oil on the outside can start to um, burn your skin. Normally it doesn't affect my hands. My problem is I'll forget before I get it all off of my hands and I'll go and touch my face and then I remember that I picked hot peppers. Ugh, not fun. So definitely something you wanna think about if you're gonna be picking a lot of hot peppers at once. So one reason I'm not working today is because there is <laughs> A tropical storm coming in and I actually just had a notification uh, on my cell phone pop-up saying that it has made landfall so uh, it's not really gonna affect us it's just bringing a lot of rain and we're supposed to start getting that rain uh, this afternoon and so rather than trying to go out and squeeze in something this morning uh, just decided to take the day off so one of the good things about running my own business is that I can do that and so it allows me when we need a day to maybe catch up on some stuff uh, for me to be able to do that and also just taking advantage of those rainy days is to catch up on design stuff which is always nice um, oh great <laughs> I just touched my face so really hoping that I don't start to feel it in a few minutes uh, we've had the landscape business for about 10 years now and I have, from the beginning, sort of made up my mind to keep it small. That way I can have a little bit more control over quality control and stuff. I wouldn't call myself like a micromanager or have a problem with, you know, releasing responsibility to other people. In fact, in the summertime when I have my high schoolers, I actually um, give them a good bit of responsibility and will leave them on the job once I feel comfortable with them understanding what needs to be done. Also the personal touch that you get with a smaller business, keeping it small. That also includes relationships in the business. And I value that just as much as I value good work, quality work, because word of mouth is the best form of advertisement. So, so if it looks like that you're like hanging out in a bush, it's because you are. I'm having to lean in to get these because we can't access them from the other side because these are right up against the fence one thing that we do with our cayennes because we always have an abundance of them is we will make uh red pepper flakes and also just cayenne powder we will use some to make like uh, a hot pepper jelly stuff like that um, but predominantly we use these for our chili powder cayenne pepper and also the red pepper flakes so i am done picking our cayennes and check this out guys look at how many we got this is a pretty big bowl we would get i would say probably about that much maybe a little bit more before these plants completely give out 
but that's a lot. Um, the other thing that we do that we started doing this year with our Cayennes is making hot sauce. Uh, that's one thing that we go through a lot at this house. We have found a recipe that we really like and using these Cayennes is going to really beef it up for us. So I am moving on from our Cayennes to our spicy banana peppers. Woo. So just to show you guys what I was talking about before when I came in, this is starting to get a little bit too ripe. If we had let all of them get this way, this plant basically would have sent a signal to itself and said, stop blooming. Um, hot peppers, you're a little bit more lenient with some of them. The cayennes, obviously when they turn red, that's what they're doing, but they will continue to produce. They are pretty prolific. Um, they are ones that once they pretty much start, they're gonna continue to go. A lot of other peppers have what they call flushes. So you'll get your kind of first flush of blooms, produce peppers, then you'll get a second flush of blooms and they'll produce peppers. And if you're in a warmer climate like we are, then a lot of times we'll get a third good flush. And with each flush, the peppers get bigger and you get more blooms um, just because the plant is coming into more maturity. So it's able to handle more. One important thing, if you are growing sweet peppers and hot peppers, if there is any crossover in the way they look, or if you're not able to easily identify them, like we have sweet bananas and spicy bananas. These are all spicy bananas. We do not pick them at the same time because you don't want to get them inside and then forget which is which. It can make for a really fun taste test thing. Overall, our peppers have done amazing this year. So right now I am picking our jalapenos. So you're probably picking up, we've got a lot of hot peppers, which we just kind of, you know, we like a lot of hot peppers. So we grow them and try to find creative ways to use them. Uh, hot peppers are ones that they are going to produce a lot of peppers. You don't need a lot of plants. Um, the cayenne, we have two plants. All of those came off of two plants. Um, the others, we do have more like, you know, anywhere from three to five plants uh, that we put in the ground. But the jalapenos, my favorite way to use them is when we get a little bit closer to the end of the season, I will let everything on the plant go to maturity, which means they will turn red um, and then we smoke them. But chipotle peppers are actually ripened jalapenos, so red jalapenos that are smoked. Uh, we did it last year and they turned out amazing. That is probably my favorite spice to use in cooking. I just noticed that we have several bunches of grapes that have been hiding from me. Let me flip this thing around, see if you guys can see it. Uh, but yeah, I probably need to come pick those. <laughs> I love finding those little garden treasures that hide from you. Um, if you can find them before they go bad. So yeah, there's uh, all of our clusters. Normally I check these vines from the driveway side and clearly all of these were hiding behind the leaves. So on finding those little garden treasures that hide, um, our melons that I was super excited about came out today to check them and actually pick them because I figured they were getting close to being ripe. Um, they all started to rot and I'm not sure why because some of them were not to maturity yet. So I don't know if it was um, some of the rain that we got or what, but super sad. I did save one um, that I'm excited to try. There are others on the vine that are not nearly far as far along, so hopefully we'll be able to get those, but we'll see. That's one of our garden woes, and unfortunately, I think it might be one of our garden failures this year, but I'm not going to give up. I am going to continue to try doing melons. So I just finished up, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of the variety. Aren't these beautiful? I love the color that you can get from homegrown fresh vegetables. I just think that they are so much prettier when you grow them yourself. And just the varieties that you are able to have access to um, is amazing. I find lessons in the small things in life and just the things around me. Um, and that's one thing that I love about gardening is because there's so many lessons that are to be learned in the garden. Um, even in homesteading, with animals and everything else, you know, outside just the, the garden space. So in what I was reminded of today, being out here and just seeing the variety in the peppers that 
we've let go a little bit too long, you know, yellow banana peppers or that are orange um, because they've been on there too long, is that, you know, variety is what adds the interest. It adds the interest into our, our life and um, in gardening and food, it adds interest into the plates that we make, uh, the dishes that we make. And so we were, we were talking uh, yesterday in Sunday school. I help out with the youth Sunday school and really encouraging them to, you know, just be comfortable with where they are and be comfortable with their place as they go in, back into school this year. And, you know, one of them was saying, but I'm so different than uh, everyone else. One thing that came to mind and that I'm being reminded of today is that people crave different. They may not accept different always, but they crave different. Because if we, without different, everything's the same. And we get bored when everything is the same. Different is good. We need variety. Um, and variety creates difference. I'm not condemning those melon plants because they didn't do what I wanted them to do this year. Uh, you know, I'm giving them a second chance. Bottom line is embrace the variety that life brings. It may not always be good. It may not always be pleasant, but that's what keeps life interesting. So thank you guys for coming out here as I harvest our peppers. I hope you were encouraged by this. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. And until next time, be blessed.